So we move on with bout eight this evening. So would you welcome to the cage, Chris Letts. <laughs> Welcome his opponent to the cage, Mario Carbajo. <laughs> It is the return from the break here tonight at Lion Fighting Championship. Time to kick off the main card here live from the Rochester Casino Rooms. Chris Hookstra alongside Dean Midhat, and we have got a featherweight mixed martial arts contest to kick things off and open up the action. Kettles Jim. Chris Lentz out of the red corner and Mario Carbajo from Bat Cave MMA in the blue. Kettles Lentz. Already in a very interesting position here, Dean, to kick things off. Mario looking very aggressive. Let's went for that guillotine choke, but Cabajo a bit too wise to it. Now let's again pressuring up, looking for the guillotine again. Cabajo flips over. He's got to think about hand fighting. You see, he's got his hands there, trying to get his neck out of that position. And Let's did a great job there to get back to his feet and clasp that front headlock position, which of course can threaten your opponent's neck to facilitate the stand-up, but then he actually thought about dropping for the choke, so a turn of the action as both fighters have attacked each other's necks. You see, you notice Cavaggio is looking to go to the left side. That's the opposite side of the choke, Chris, and that alleviates the pressure and eliminates the choke happening. So a relief there 
for Cabajo. Now in side control. Lets off his back. Cabajo on top. Daniel, the gentleman, Movahiti here in charge tonight. Observing the proceedings as these two tussle for position, Dean. Cabajo very heavy, using that shoulder and his hip pressure to pin Let's to the map. He's got to keep busy here, though, because if the position is too stagnant, the ref will ask for a stand-up. Switching the hips up here. I like it. Again, it has been anything but static here in the weight distribution. And although he has not looked to advance from side control here, the constant shifting of his hips has really been able to secure Letts down to the ground, but not enough action, Dean. And Kibagia, back to the upright. Kibagia swarming in with those punches, but Letts showing his Muay Thai background with those rear kicks. Oh, big overhand right from Kabajo. And a whizzer of a punch again lands there for Kabajo. Shovel uppercut there from Letts in return. Letts with the jab. Letts looking up, possibly for a counter by a spinning back fist. Whoa, it's heating up now. Somebody turn the oven up to 400 degrees, baby. Letts now able to implement his striking game plan. Came up for the knee of the center line, Chris, but gave the takedown attempt. Now, Cabaggio fighting to get the fight to the ground. And Mario Cabaggio looking to catch the lift there for the double. Isn't able to get it, but then he turns the corner the opposite way. I like it. Smart stuff. Guard retention here from Letts. Letts looking for the choke. Just a few seconds to go here. Cabaggio very compliant with this guillotine. Excellent. Defense from Cabaggio now ends up on top at the end of the round. He was very methodical in the way he he was very calm and used his hands to fight his head out of that position. He didn't panic and expose himself to, self to more danger. And we move into the next stanza here at LFC. Cabaggio. Seemingly more aggressive here, able to catch that outside trip. Let's now off his back. Let's see what he can do with it. Masked that takedown beautifully with those punches, Chris. Now he finds himself on top in the lazy half guard of Let's. He'll look to free that leg. Oh, go watch the sweep from Let's. Excellent stuff there. That collar tie here from Let's has increased his pressure here to try to open up the pass. He's in this position here with an open guard as Carbajo looks for the sweep, and it's a great reversal of positions again. Look like that was an electric chair sweep from the bottom there, Chris. Now Carbaggio on top, looking to establish the side control. Might look like he wants to sneak that knee, his right knee over the belly of Letts and obtain the full mount. But what I liked there was it was actually cradling Letts. A little bit of wrestling, but now letting go to advance to side control here. A convincing maneuver from Carbaggio. Now you'll see Carbaggio very heavy in this position and you alluded to him switching his hips to a uh, downward position and upward position. This is to kind of ride the lightning there. You see the buck perfectly timed from Let's on the bottom to ride that position and stay on top. You've got to keep heavy and move with the flow. It's really the art of the float, isn't it, Dean? The nuances of keeping your weight down and almost sensing the invisible movements of your opponent. Look at that. Carbaggio slides in to mount. Grapevines in with the hooks. Let's trying to break down the posture, trying to pull him in, maybe forcing a stand up here. But this has been dominating here from Carbaggio. Let's needs to free up those legs. You can see Carbaggio's grapevine those legs with his feet. He needs to flick his leg just like that and then work for the bucks or perhaps trying to establish side control. When he's grapevine like that, it, it keeps the person on top of you, keeps the weight centered down, really pins you to the mat, Chris. Big punches here from Carbaggio. These are single shots, but they're nicely timed. He has to make an effective compromise here between maintaining position, but obviously doing enough offense to warrant the action to continue in this position, i.e. what Letts would like is to try to force a stand-up by tying him up, for example. That's the contradiction from the grapevine. You pin the opponent, but you can't rise up yourself to do those big punches from the top. And there's the stand-up. 
big kick there from Letts. Letts needs to go for it here. He's got seconds to go. Big punches by Letts, but again, throwing with reckless intent. Allows Cabaggio to duck underneath and establish the clinch. A gasp there from Letts. And another warning from uh, Daniel Mobahidi regarding a late strike there. That was the second time. Did that also in the first round. Letts looks to have recovered quite a bit. There were some deep breaths there at the end of the first, but Carbaggio, I think, has shown his cards and will look to press the action and get in close and get a hold of him again, Dean. If Letts can set up that uppercut, you see, Carbaggio comes in with his head down. Now again gets the double leg off the cage. Big takedown there for Carbaggio. Letts looking to try to work some magic here. Neon belly for Carbaggio. Let's now thinking ahead, he sees he's got his left knee up there blocking the mount and he'll buck every time he feels that knee against his belly area. And that is exactly why Cabaggio now switches his hips downwards but gets swept. Letts is on top, hammer fist Chris. These are big punches here from Letts. Letts with an opportunistic gamble there, threw up the legs, got the figure four. Wow. He had a possible inverted triangle off that but Carbaggio may have escaped the worst of it. Let's see if Cabaggio now learns while he fights. He's got to be careful about leaving those hips, not pinning down the opponent. Again, we saw him get swept just a second ago. And you can see now that he's screwing his hips down. He has to be careful about giving too much space and not keeping his weight down in one position. If he kind of lets it wave around on top there, he opens himself to a sweep. He needs to focus that weight down. And there we go. And just... Yeah, there we go. That was exactly what I was looking for. It seemed to me that Letts was thinking about trying to use the cage, and then actually what Carbaggio did was turn him away so that he couldn't cage walk up. And now he goes for Neon Belly. He opened up some space. He pulled him away and then thought about sliding in for full mount. That was very smart. I almost missed that from our angle, but the, what I'm seeing on the monitor here... And now a north-south choke attempt here from Carbaggio. This guy's got a lot of tricks up his sleeves. I think it was the more well-rounded fighter in Carbaggio that seems to be running away with it despite eating some big shots there from Letts. But now Letts up to his feet, I stand corrected. Cavaggio gave a bit of space there, now Letts is teeing off. Needs to keep pushing forward, nice kick from Letts. See if Cavaggio comes back in with the takedown attempt. Big punches from Letts. That was huge, those were two of the biggest strikes of the round, but again, Cavaggio was working the clock here, he's got him down and will look either, I would say, to hit north-south again or maybe slide into mount. He seems to really favor the uh, north-south approach, Dean. He's doing a great job, Chris, of the control. Now, when the knee comes up like that to block the mount, there is a knee bar there. However, if you mess it up, you end up on the bottom. So Cabaggio, very smartly thinking, stay on top. 10 seconds to go. Carbaggio looking to ride this one out. Let's looking to scramble hard. And that is the end of the fight. Another incredible matchup here. And two young men who brought the very best out on each other from bell to bell. Ladies and gentlemen, before we make the official decision, please let's hear it for both men in the cage. But we do have a unanimous decision. Our judges in favor of the blue corner, Mario Carvajal.